Hi there guys, it's Chris here with SelfMadeNewbie.com and in this video we're going to go through the best super zoom cameras currently out there today. Now I've kept this list as comprehensive as possible, narrowing it down to my absolute favourite top 5 picks so no matter what you're looking for there'll definitely be something on this list for you. So before we jump in, drop a like and subscribe and hit the bell to be updated with new videos. Okay, as usual, I'm going to skip the small talk and just jump right into my recommendations. If you want to confirm what they are, go down in the description there and check out that list to guarantee you get the lowest price. All right, so my first recommendation is going to go to the one for the most compact, and this is the Nikon Coolpix P950. So this is a camera so good you might start taking pictures of your neighbor's dog from across the state and still call it nature photography. Okay, don't do that, but you get the gist. This compact super zoom camera is like the Swiss army knife in a world of butter knives. Some of the key features, zoom for days of course. You get an 83 times optical zoom lens, that's right. You can now be that creepy guy at the concert who captures the beads of sweat on the lead singer's forehead, a true paparazzi dream. It's stable as your grandmother's meatloaf. VR, vibration reduction. Active mode is here to save your shaky hands. No, it's not going to stabilize your love life, but it will at least get you clear shots while you jog, bike, or hop on one leg. For the control freaks, if you're accustomed to Nikon's DSLR setup, you'll find the controls conveniently similar. You'll get to fiddle with exposure modes like shutter speed and aperture until you're blue in the face. 4K video and raw shooting as well. This baby doesn't just click photos, it also captures 4K video and allows for raw shooting because sometimes JPEGs just do not cut it. The pros, astonishing image stabilization and autofocus, like a cat stalking its prey, only less predatory. Raw shooting and 4K video because you're worth it. 83X zoom lens for the voyeurs and bird watchers alike. Easy to use modes, both manual and auto, so you can either let the camera take the wheel or go full control freak. The cons, however, no touch screen, so you have to use buttons like it's 2007, cue the world's tiniest violin. The cons, a bit on the hefty side, not the best for beginners or those with spaghetti arms. The next one on the list is going to go to the best value option, and this is the Canna PowerShot SX70HS. So if the Nikon Coolpix P950 is the quarterback of the high school team, then this Canon is the talented second string who also happens to be in the drama club. Jack of all trades, master of, well, quite a few things actually. Key features, zoom galore. With a 65x zoom, this camera will get you that close. Not first date awkward close, but admirably close. Mic drop. It captures 4K video and has a mic input so you can commentate your own nature documentary while filming squirrels in your backyard. David Attenborough, watch out. Snazzy screen. A very angle LCD screen gives you more angles than a high school geometry book. Snap photos from the low, high, and even the what on earth are you doing angles. A grip you can trust. A rubbered grip ensures this camera won't slip out of your hands, unlike your last relationship. The pros in a nutshell. 4K video with mic input for those of you who can't keep quiet about your awesome shots. A battery life longer than your last Netflix binge session so you won't be tethered to an outlet. The very angle LCD screen because your world isn't flat even if some people think it is. Rubbered grip for easy handling. Hey, it's the little things that count. The cons, however, struggles in dim light a bit, so maybe don't bring it along for your candlelit seance. Also, not built for fast action, so sports photographers, this is not your speed demon. The next one on the list is going to go to my best budget option, and this is the Panasonic Lumix FZ80. The perfect camera for those who believe that budgeting is an art form. It's like the ramen noodles of the camera world. Cheap, fills you up, and surprisingly good when you add a few spices. Some of the key features, budget zoom, a 60x optical zoom at this price point is like finding an extra fry at the bottom of your fast food bag. Always a pleasant surprise. Tap, tap, click. Touchscreen LCD means you can tap your way to photography glory, just like you tap through those insufferable Instagram stories. Also, faster than a speeding tortoise. The autofocus is fast, so you won't miss capturing your cat doing absolutely nothing for the hundredth time. It's user-friendly. It's so easy to use, you could probably teach your grandmother to take selfies, but let's not unleash that onto the world. The pros in a nutshell. More affordable than a hipster's coffee habits, first of all. 
comfortable to use as well, like your favorite old chair that you refuse to throw away. A quick autofocus so you can snap pictures faster than you can say, did I leave the stove on? Also, touch LCD screen because who has time for buttons? The cons, low resolution EVF and no eye sensor, so you'll have to squint like you're trying to read the fine print on a bad contract. Also, it's a little bulky and heavy, like that one friend who overstays their welcome, but you love anyway. The next one on the list, my recommendation for the best premium option, the Sony Cybershot RX10 IV. So if cameras were cars, this would be the Tesla. Sleek, fast, and a touch pretentious. Designed for those who think budget is just a seven letter word. Key features, rolling like a stone. Impressive rolling shutter ensures that even fast moving objects cannot escape your lens. Think paparazzo, but classy. Z's the day. Sporting a 25X telephoto Z lens, this camera will have you capturing shots that make your friends say, wow, did you take that? All the jacks as well. Not only does this camera take stunning photos and video, but it also comes with a mic and headphone jack. Trust me, your future self, knee deep in post-production, will thank you. USB charging as well. Forget wall sockets, just plug it into your laptop, power bank, or that USB outlet in your car that you've never used. The pros. Fast moving objects, no problem. Your kids' sports day photos will never look the same. The 25X telephoto Z lens is a feast for the eyes, almost as satisfying as finally deleting your spam emails. Superior image quality across different lighting conditions so you can finally get a good photo at your dimly lit favorite dive bar. Cons, the zoom could be a bit faster, but you know what they say, good things come to those who wait. And also the price tag may require a second mortgage, but hey, can you really put a price on perfection? The next one on the list is gonna go to my option for the best optical zoom range. Uh, this is the Coolpix P1000. So if the earlier P950 was a Swiss army knife, the P1000 is the entire Swiss army. This is the camera for people who want to photograph the moon's surface without actually having to go through astronaut training. The key features, space zoom. With an absurd 24, 3000 millimeter zoom range, this camera has you covered from ants in your kitchen to aliens on Mars. Steady as she goes, the dual detect optical vibration reduction will keep your shots crispier than your favorite bag of chips. Point, shoot, and direct, high resolution EVF and fast autofocus means the only blur in your life will be last night's bad decisions. 4K, UHD and stereo sound. Why settle for looking good when you can sound good too? This camera can record in 4K and in stereo. Who needs IMAX? The pros, in a nutshell, an unmatched zoom range. You can basically shoot your next wildlife documentary from your porch. High res EVF and speedy autofocus so fast you might just catch Bigfoot unaware. Excellent image stabilization, perfect for when you've had one too many coffees. The cons, however, it's a bit on the expensive side, but hey, it's cheaper than a telescope and a trip to the moon. No touch screen as well, but with a zoom like this, who needs to touch? All right, so hopefully there's something on that list for you. I've tried to include some variety there, no matter what your needs are. If you have any questions though, drop them down below, and if you found value in this video, drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.